This is John the Witness on the Mind Blowers channel, bringing you hardcore Bible facts. There's this widespread misconception that the Almighty God walks around heaven, raving mad every hour of every day at all the sins committed on earth, and that he then generates natural disasters and misery for various countries. But if you stop and think through the logic on this, God will have to be a pretty disorganized, chaotic, and destructive being. Is God full of such chaos, or is he orderly? There are some concepts in the New Testament we have to keep in mind. Jesus Christ already told us that Satan is the destroyer, not God. So let's stop automatically assuming God causes disasters randomly in a chaotic manner. God is still in control, but because of the prevalence of evil in the world, he's allowing Satan to do the kind of destructive weather patterns mentioned in the book of Job. Satan is the destroyer, murderer, and he lies to cover up his destructive behavior, making people blame God for disasters. Let's read some verses right now. John 8:44. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. 1 Peter 5, 8 Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walks about, seeking whom he may devour. Finally, the book of Revelation shows just how orderly God is when he does punish the world for its sins. If you notice, much of Revelation is the process of God's wrath being unleashed on the world, mainly focused in the seven trumpets. I don't have time to read all seven trumpets, but in Revelation 11, as God sits as judge of judges, he summons his two witnesses who take three and a half years to present all the damning information and evidence about what the rulers of this world have been doing to the creation since ancient Babylon was the head of gold. In Revelation 14 verse 8, we see that Almighty God is ready to judge the world for all the sins that the two witnesses testified about, exposing the darkest evil hidden from the majority of mankind. Now that we have the testimony from the two witnesses presented before God the judge, the next logical thing is to render the sentence. And what is that sentence? In Revelation 15 verse 7, the sentence is the seven last plagues of God's wrath. This is the point where God will fully flex all his great power over his creation, including the weather. Up until now, yes, God has been in control, but through his son, Jesus Christ, he told us that he has not come to destroy, but to save lives. Thus, if he is not using the weather to destroy before the time of these seven last plagues, then guess who is? I'll let you figure that out. I'm John the Witness. Stay strong in the faith of Jesus Christ. Amen.